In this month's news, a platinum contact lens and electricity zaps the cornea into shape. Could it be the next LASIK disruptor? Alcon goes shopping again, and this time it's a $1.5 billion deal. And in Texas, a first-of-its-kind gene therapy implant for MacTel moves from trial to clinic. All that and more on SiteBite News, where eye care meets headlines with 2020 flair. First up, move over LASIK, there's a new kid zapping around town. Researchers at Occidental College and UC Irvine have been experimenting with electrochemical corneal reshaping. Instead of cutting or lasering, they use controlled electrical pulses through a custom platinum contact lens to soften the cornea, mold it, and lock it in a new shape. In rabbit eyes, the cornea stayed transparent, collagen stayed intact, and cell health looked good all with equipment far less complicated and less expensive than laser platforms. Now, we're still a long way from the clinic, but if the technique holds up, it could be a cost-friendly, less invasive alternative to LASIK. Shifting from the lab to industry, big news in the business of myopia care. Alcon dropped $1.5 billion to acquire Star Surgical. That means the Evo ICL family, implantable columnar lenses for moderate to high myopia, will soon be part of Alcon's growing toolbox. CEO David Endicott says this move helps cover the full spectrum of myopia management, from contact lenses all the way to surgical interventions. And it's not just a one-off. This year alone, Alcon scooped up Silite, Lensar, Orion Biotech, and Lumathera building what looks like a fully stacked eye care ecosystem. From big deals to big milestones, history was made in Texas this month. Dr. Charles Wyckoff performed the first real-world Inselto gene therapy implant for MacTel. The tiny capsule continuously releases CNTF to slow retinal degradation. Phase three data showed Inselto could cut ellipsoid zone loss by more than half over two years and now it's out of the trial bubble and into the clinic. This is a big moment for patients and an even bigger one for gene therapy in ophthalmology. And speaking of breakthroughs, JSight kicked off its phase two JC0288 trial for retinitis pigmentosa, this time turning up the volume with an 8.8 .8 million cell intravitreal injection of J-cell. That's about 50% higher than earlier trials as they chase broader answers for a disease with almost no treatment options. Unlike mutation-matched gene therapies, J-cell takes a genotype-agnostic approach, releasing neurotrophic factors to help keep photoreceptors alive. With RMAT designation in its back pocket and a design built for scalability, j latest move might be more than just a bigger dose. It could be a bigger step toward finally giving RP patients a real treatment option. Finally, let's cool things down or maybe heat things up with dry eye. Tear Care made the case in the Sahara Phase 3 trial, and the results are looking pretty refreshing. After just two in-office treatments in the first five months, patients saw stronger tear film stability, better gland function, and symptom relief that lasted nearly two years. Compared head-to-head, -head, Tear Care outperformed restasis on tear stability and held its own on symptoms. Even better, two-thirds of patients never needed retreatment, and safety stayed solid the whole way through. Bottom line, tear care is turning up the heat on dry eye care, moving us from quick fixes to lasting solutions. I'm Diana Jung, and that's a wrap for this edition of SiteBite News. Stay sharp, stay focused, and stay in the loop with more eye-popping updates on Mice TV. Got a juicy story or a hot take? Drop us a comment below.